Good morning to all my friends and welcome to Jim's 5am club. This morning I come to you from my beautiful city of Sydney. I'm down here at Circular Quay just in front of the uh, Museum of Contemporary Art and as you can see it's a glorious glorious morning. The Opera House this time of year is uh, silhouetted against that golden dawn. It's uh, pre-sunrise, there's a ferry out there heading off as well and it's going to be a cracker, a cracker of a day. The wind has turned westerly again coming from the west, a nice gentle breeze just to uh, keep the, uh, the clouds away and it's an awesome, awesome morning once again. Let's go on a uh, little walk and talk session and we'll uh, go through a, a book review this morning of a book summary that I've just recently read. And the book that I'll be uh, covering off today is a really, really interesting book. I absolutely love it. And it's called Factfulness. Factfulness and the author is Hans Rosling. An awesome book, a book which is a must read I think for most people, especially in this day and age where we're being inundated by negative media and we've got people around us just trying to blow things out of proportion using numbers, using statistics, and using the tricks of the trade, the tricks of the media trade, to, infer, to install, instill fear, uncertainty and doubt in most people's minds. So the book basically covers off on uh, biases, people's biases, and uh, what basically makes us tick, or what captures our attention, and what holds our attention in ways which can be ad advantageous but also can be dis, uh, uh, disadvantageous especially when it's all negative because we don't want to live in fear we don't want to live with uh, excess anxiety but the book uh, it's such a good book that I'd I want to cover off quite a few of the different uh, items on different vlogs because to try and cover it all in one vlog would be a disservice uh, in, my, in my opinion. So I'll pick out a couple of points that made uh, were of interest to me and we'll uh, knock them off one at a time and see how we go. So I guess, uh, I guess the, the, the the first point in the book is that um, news, unless it's negative, it's not news. So the first point that we need to understand is that people are going to be focusing on negative things because we'll do more to avoid fear than to gain pleasure. So uh, focusing on the negative Focusing on the fearful is something which is just a natural thing in our lives. You notice on a daily basis that uh, you know you can report the you know a, a, the same thing five different ways, but uh, if you if you report it negatively, all, all of a sudden it catches people's attention. The book also seems to, uh, to talk about the fact that people rarely uh, notice improvement, but they'll always focus on stuff that's going worse or things that, th things that are, getting, um, um, uh, uh, are not getting better. So once again, that's another natural tendency. The other thing the book talks about is the unreal expectation that things will continue to get worse in a straight line fashion. 
Um, say for example the bushfires, you know, people get overwhelmed with the fear that, uh, that the bush, bushfires will continue forever or that the drought will continue forever and just get worse and worse year by year. But we know that uh, human nature, that the, uh, the environment, that the world moves in cycles. Everything moves in cycles and the cycles go up and down, just like the share market, just like uh, our moods, everything swings up and down and it happens on a regular basis. So to think that things are going to progressively get worse in a straight line fashion is unrealistic and childish, quite frankly. So we need to understand that uh, things move in a cyclical uh, motion, in a cyclical manner, and things very, very rarely continue to get worse. And when things get better, you can expect things to turn and to get worse at some point. So that's quite comforting, I think, and quite liberating to understand that it's not going to be bad forever. It will change. It will get better. Just like now, you know, we, we had four years of drought, terrible drought. But the drought changed and broke very, very quickly. And when it breaks and when it changes, it changes big time. You know, it's, uh, I think one of, the, one of the important lessons that I've learned is that uh, drought takes a long time to kick in. But when it's broken, when, it, when, it ra when the rains come and the drenchings come, the improvements come very, very quick. So it comes back quickly. It gets bad slowly, but when it gets good, it gets good very, very quickly. So that's another powerful lesson, a powerful lesson that we need to keep front of mind. That, uh, and not to be, um, not to be uh, just broken, broken by the negative news which keeps on coming our way. I'm a share market uh, investor, I invest in shares. And I know that the share market moves in cycles. We've been informed by Warren Buffett, one of the most successful investors in the history of mankind. And he says to expect once a year, the share market across the board to drop by 10%. But it will claw its way back and hit a new record. And he says also that once every three years, the share market will drop by up to 40% or more. But guess what? Hold on. Not only hold on, buy. Buy as much as you can because the share market will claw, claw back those losses and uh, hit a new record once again. Anyway, um, I guess the biggest lessons that I've learnt over the years is uh, not to spend too much time paying attention to the media because as we said before they only focus on the negative and it's fantasy land. It's not real. It's a little bit lost, like lost in space when Dr Smith all of a sudden says you're not real, get away. I don't believe you and all of a sudden the monsters just disappear. So you need to get a bit of a spine and then and to be uh, and to be gutsy and to be, and to raise your kids telling them not to live in fear because it's it's only an opinion, somebody's opinion and somebody's negative opinion. How many times I've, I've watched the news and I've watched for example the riots in Greece, or the uh, or the um, the economic crisis in Greece, only to get on a plane and fly to Greece and see no riots, you know, because the riots are only located, you know, in a, in a small area, 
of uh, you know <laughs> a street or two. Whereas when the media are there, they're focusing in on the riots and the rock throwing and the carrying on, and you think that all of Athens, all of Greece is in chaos. So I won't go there because um, it's too dangerous. But you get there and it's just like the good old times, nothing's changed. I've been going to Greece for, uh, for oh, well over 30 years now. And every time before I go there, there's all this news about uh, crisis, blah, 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 blah. The world's collapsing, the world's uh, getting worse and everything's just disappearing. I get to Greece and it's, as, and it's as if nothing has changed for me. Fair enough, I'm looking at it from the outsider, from the outside view, but the islands are pumping, people are out enjoying themselves and life just goes on. So once again, I've learned to discount the media and not to uh, listen to them in any way. And the other thing that the book talks about is uh, numbers. When people quote numbers, when pe people quote averages, just don't pay any attention to it because uh, unless you're comparing it to other numbers, a number on its own is insignificant. People tend to overestimate the size of things and, um, and can't really grasp the proportionality or the relativity of things and, um, and basically build their fears on their lack of mathematical um, proportionalism. So let's finish off here. Once again, it's early morning, it's winter, we're coming into spring. It's a great, great day. Until tomorrow, 5 a.m., I'll, to, I'll come to you from another location with another uplifting message, if possible. Let's finish off with our positive affirmation. I'm alive, I am well, and I feel absolutely great. I'm here at Campbell's Cove. It's quiet, but it's uh, the beginning of another beautiful day. To all my friends and family, stay connected, stay relevant. And most importantly, don't get carried away with all the media. Don't get overwhelmed with all the negative news. Because at the end of the day, news needs to be negative to capture people's attention. Make your own news. Read your own sources. Come up with your own opinions. And don't be, uh, don't be swayed by all the BS in the world. Take care and we'll chat again. Sasaka Pao, I love you and we'll chat next time. Bye.